Is that too sexual for Christmas? The thing about taking Benadryl every night is <laughs> that I wake up hungover sometimes. So we've got the live stream in an hour and a half. I need to work on choreo before then to, so we can practice before we shoot this weekend. I need to make the playlist. But first, coffee. Now, more from DW. You're having a good morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? I feel like what I'm struggling now with choreo is like making it something that's a workout, but still interesting and fun, but easy to follow along to, which I guess has always been my struggle. My old videos, I feel like were more workouty. I mean, they're fine. It's not bad. It's just like, I'm, I don't necessarily enjoy that anymore. I like doing stuff that's a little bit more fun and interesting, but I still wanna make sure people can follow along. So like, that's my struggle. I think we got it. I think we got it. The Christmas ones are always like, they're always supposed to be a little bit harder because it's like a show. You know, you want to put on a Christmas show. I think of always like the Mean Girls dance, but I think this one's fun. I really am sad my only wish this year is gone. That was so much fun, but we had to take it down. So this is going to be the new one. It's Vlogmas, and today we're doing a Booty Army live stream. Woo! She's not a Christmas beer. Yesterday she was like, let's do a Christmas song and uh, do it to Katy Perry's new one. And then we just did it. And this is her face the whole time. <laughs> I'm just here floating on this rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can give you right now. Slide and blink at your dice. Type. I don't know if you guys have like any like family traditions. I feel like my family is very unconventional in the fact that we don't do anything every year. We have no tradition whatsoever. <laughs> also, if you have a functional family that like all gets along, please comment below because I want to know if those kind of people exist. <laughs> do you have that? <laughs> Girl, I guess that must be you. Pull out. Body like the summer. Oh. Knee to your chest, go. Knee, push up. Pushing through that heel. Activating that glute. All right, just got done with the live stream. Are you really coming to Santa Monica with us? No, I really want to, but I like should do like some household chores. <gasps> Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Stop it, that's not even funny. Can you grow up, please? What do you mean? That's not funny. Cameron's in a bad mood because or we had to go pick up our tickets for the stream meets and so I needed two forms of ID and I have my ID but I didn't have my passport. I didn't know where it was for a second. <laughs> and so Cameron was like, you never know where you put anything. It was like rummaging through the house, like looking through all the drawers. Meanwhile, the first place I looked, I found my passport. But since he decided to go on a tangent about how irresponsible I was and how he always has to find my shit, I thought, you know what? I'll let him, I'll let him look. I'll let him go on a little adventure. So I just let him go scurry around the house bitching while he was looking for my passport. I set it like right on the table by my water bottle. And I was like, hey babe, can you go get my water bottle for me? And so he went to the table and saw the passport and got pissed. It's not my fault. Don't have an attitude. What well, Cameron and I are working on our relationship. We're working on a reaction that is proportionate to the situation. And so since I made him go on a little goose chase for my passport, his reaction to the situation was- That's gonna make you go on a goose chase for your life. Was to try to hit me with a car. <laughs> I think we still have work to do, but <laughs> I don't think it's hopeless. There's a turkey burger that I left out last night. Like we made food and we always go to bed without putting the food away. And so this morning I saw two perfectly good turkey burgers just sitting out and I was so mad and I didn't want to go to waste that I just ate it. Now I didn't taste bad, it didn't smell bad, but like it was sitting out for a good like 
12 hours. Here's the thing. I ate that turkey burger and then immediately got on the phone with my mom and then got in the car. And then once I was in the car, I felt sick. I feel sick. I actually, my projectile puked a little bit and a lot, but I projectile puked in the car. And so it's either the turkey burger, talking to my mother, or being in the car, or all three. Well, Hulu officially has reality TV. Maybe they'll pick up Life of a Fitness Pop Star season two. <laughs> if you know what that is, you're a real one. I just got the schedule for the streamies, and I am so anxious. Allison and Haley are freaking out too. And I have rehearsals on Thursday, and we have like rehearsals all day Friday, and then right after rehearsals, we have like 30 minutes to like freshen up, and then we have to go walk the red carpet and then do the show. I'm not okay. <laughs> this is the biggest thing we've done. I feel like this is like the it moment, like the like, did I make it moment? Got the green beans going. Look at that. Got chicken boiling. This part's done. This is my favorite way to shred chicken. I love making me some shredded barbecue chicken. All right, we got dinner. We got sriracha. Uh, sriracha chicken and some green beans. Well, we just started to eat dinner and Cameron now has something stuck in his throat, so we are on our way to the hospital. <laughs> are you done? Are you done? Are we not going? Are you done? Are you you done just said you're going to the hospital. I was swear to God I was prepared. I, on our bride, I was prepared to go to the hospital. Why? You just said we were going to the hospital. You just started getting dressed. You told me to put my shoes on. Because we're going to the hospital. I can't stand you. I actually don't feel too good after that. I'm trying to wash the taste out of my mouth with m and <laughs> I don't know what, I'm just a bad cook. That was not it. Who the f mixes those things together? It was in a recipe I saw. Who? For an aioli. Whose recipe? I don't know, oof. All right, this is the next day. <laughs> Haley came over to uh, help choreograph a little bit because we were trying to shoot four songs <laughs> in the span of an hour, which is stupid. But we did the love of me shot the truth earth and stuff like that. Did we? Yeah, we shot four that day. Well, we're gonna try to do a Christmas song if we can get it unblocked. We're gonna shoot a Tanache song, my type. Yeah, you know, and, and a cool down. So we got a couple cool downs because there's only like ten cool downs in five years that we've done. So <laughs> I want to try to get some more going. I just took you out, and you're gonna sh on the welcome mat. Nope. It is lift, like the air, the thickness of the air is lifted. It's not thick. That's sad when it's more polluted in here than it is outside in LA. It literally always smells like winter candy apple. No, it does not. It's like trash in here. It's like literal trash. That because we made dinner last night. Oh God, I need so many dishes to make dinner. I don't know how you do it. For don't. two people. Guys, the sink is filled, overfilled to the top. Like it is. This is their sink. They cooked dinner last night for two people. That is, <laughs> what? Whole ass restaurants that use that many dishes. Do you know E Entertainment is doing the carpet and we're just gonna be like. Wait, no one's gonna like interview us though. Are you sure? We're not me. I'm just, I, I'm a better fit for just standing there and looking cute. <laughs> Each other, like, how do you feel? And you're like, I'm really excited. Yeah. Myself. Can the first order of business be to fix the cool down that we hate? <laughs> okay. I don't hate it. I like what we did. You went like, uh, or like something, duh. What did, I don't know what you did. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. That's fine. Well, I, like, I just feel like nothing's interesting. Like, there's no, where's cake? Where's work? Where's me too? Why don't we go like... Where's love me harder even? Instead of going down, why don't we like go, buh? Duh, buh, like that. I didn't, well, I didn't see the difference. Well, you were like, duh. Well, because we're up here. Buh, duh. Like, make like a... <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not silly. So you're saying just slide down. Just slide down and like, like, breathe. Yeah. Oh, my back is cracked. But also like when you melt, buh, buh, duh, like come from the bottom. Come from the bottom? So, buh, duh. Uh, yeah. You keep it. <laughs> it's the same thing, just more interesting. 
Yeah, Allison's good about that. That's a cute move. You know what I wish? If I could learn one thing about like dancing, it would be how to be, how to be like graceful and less stark. Just your style, man. I am just. That's my appeal. It's just being like in your face, mediocre. Oh. <laughs> it's like am it's everything all of I our do like it really amateur. Is. It is. It really is. The minute amazing. I become good, you stop watching. Yeah. Is there anything that we want to change with my type, or is it fine? It's fine, dear God. All right, quick update. I um, after Katie left, I made it through a damn near two hour long panic attack. Um, my panic attacks aren't as in my face now. I just kind of dissociate from the world and I just have to wait until it's over. So it's still lingering, but I've got to go get a haircut right now. Cameron is too. And then we're going to go and do a podcast, um, at Drew and Linda's house. Um, they just launched, Drew and Linda just launched a new podcast. And so I'm going to be one of the guests on it. So I'm excited about that. Cameron's leaving in the morning to go home. So I'm going to be left alone by myself with my thoughts and anxieties before the streamies. So if I can make it through those rehearsals, I'm okay, I'm golden. Currently doing my hair in the car before I go to Drew and Linda's to do the interview. Excited about, I mean, I'm a lot less panicky than I was. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna make it, y'all. There is just too much happening and I can't even tell you the big stuff. I mean, besides the streamies, that's the big, oh, there goes my hair wax. There's a lot that I'm scared about. But you know what? I am here on this ride. Jesus is taking the wheel wherever he wants me to go. If there's anything I've learned in life, it's that there is no point in fighting fate. What is gonna happen is gonna happen, so it's much easier to just roll with the punches instead of trying to dodge them because they're gonna hit you one way or another. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Woo, buddy! What is with the Britney Spears obsession? Oh, I thought you were gonna ask me what's with her Instagram, and I couldn't answer that. Her, so, oh, what is it? What is it? It's art. It's avant garde. I'm looking at this right now. Well, you don't need to look at it, Drew. I don't think. No, I need to look at it because I've never been on her Instagram. I'm opening myself up to uh, questions. And Cameron leaves in the morning, so we're gonna spend one night together before he has to. What are you gonna do? I don't know how to li I literally do not know how to function without you here. Caleb, I, I don't think you understand how hungry I am I, right now. Like, I'm about to pass out. All I've had is one bagel today. Um, the dinner we made last night, we both threw away because it tasted like trash. Yep. Drew and Linda gave us this little gift basket with a succulent that they said represents, not a succulent, uh, an orchid that said they said represents our friendship. And we have killed every plant in this house. We water it, it dies. We don't water it, it dies. We have it in the indirect sun, it dies. We get it closer to the sun, it dies. So please, if you have any, any tips on how to keep this alive, Please let us know because no matter what, it's probably already starting to die. Karen's in the kitchen. We're making fajitas or making tacos tonight. And Juice is assuming his position of being scared because he thinks we're going to set off the fire alarm. So Karen's leaving in the morning and he <laughs> does not think that I'm going to be able to take care of myself. Like he's actually worried that I'm going to be able to feed myself, feed Juice, not burn the house down. So he's offering to make me his meatloaf so that I can just put it in the oven when it's ready. He's making the whole thing. <laughs> I feel like my dad is leaving, and it's like my first time, you know, on my own in the world. Juice, do you trust me to take care of you? <laughs> but we're not leaving the morning. Do you trust yeah. me to take care of you? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Thanks, baby. That's your plate. That's here's, here's your toppings. Thank you. I have guac, cheese, and sour cream. What else do you want? I wanted ranch, but you wouldn't let me buy it because you said it was too expensive. You tried to buy... A ranch that was $8. Best tortillas People in the world. Eat. It's 10.45, I'm about to go to bed, and <laughs> I just got the track for the opening number, so I'm going to listen to it to see how it goes, so I don't look like a fool. Also, Jesus is very tired. <laughs> he wants to go to bed. <laughs> You're here. There's nothing to fear, and I know that my juice box goes on. We'll stay forever this way. You are safe 
in my heart and my juice box goes on and on. Yeah, you do, Bobbies.